Analyzing form is the most important football betting strategy, but most football bettors ignore it because they are too lazy to do it, while others just don't know how to do it properly. The major importance of analyzing form is 1. To understand the games you want to bet on. 2. To know if a big team is not good enough to win and to prevent bet companies from deceiving or distracting you with odds. Yes. Almost all bettors bet based on odds because they are controlled by the bookmaker's odds. I mean, look at the odd given to Madrid in this game, and look at the over 1.5 odd given for this match. I know most of you would avoid this type of game because the odds were too high and most of you would think that because it's high, Madrid winning or the Hetafe games producing a over 1.5 goal outcome must be difficult or even impossible, or the bet companies must know something that you don't. But Madrid didn't just win this game, they won easily. And this over 1.5 game with high odds did not only produce over 1.5 result, but it also produced over 3.5 goals. While this Inter Milan game, which most of you would have put your money on, because it looked sure, was the one that later disappointed. First let's talk about the goal outcome analysis, using the strategy that works for me 90% of time. To correctly predict goal outcomes, first go to the league table and check the goals scored and goals conceded ratio of the teams involved. Let's take this match between West Ham and Newcastle for example. On the league table, we can see that West Ham scored 14 goals and conceded 10 in 7 games, which means they have averaged 2 goals scored per game while they have conceded at least 1 goal per game, while Newcastle United had 18 goals scored and 8 goals conceded in 7 games, which means they averaged more than 2 goals and conceded at least 1 goal per game. With this simple info, we can conclude that both teams have no problem when it comes to scoring goals, and they can equally conceive goals. So, the likelihood of over 1.5 is 100% and the possibility of over 2.5 goals is very high. The most important thing is also checking their last 5 games, to know if they've been scoring goals and conceding in them. If you look at the odds given to them for over 1.5, it's a little bit high, and it's just a bonus, if you follow the strategy. If you look at the game I talked about in the beginning, and you applied this same strategy, you will begin to wonder why the odd were so high in the first place. And if you consider this game, you will see that both teams don't score too many goals, and they don't concede much as well, so the safe choice would be under 3.5 goals. After knowing this strategy, I only bet on over 1.5 games that have high odds, and I don't bet on over 1.5 options with low odds anymore. Now, when it comes to predicting outcomes in terms of straight win and double chance, there's one thing you need to understand. Form analysis is not just about the green W and the red L, either is it about the name of the teams involved. While analyzing a game between two clubs, you have to break down their form by, one, knowing the strength and position of the teams they played against in the last five matches, and researching how both teams performed in the previous five games, by using live score app or prediction websites. If we look at this match between Girona and Madrid, where Real Madrid's odd to win are high. You'll see that Girona had five wins out of their last five games, which is impressive. While Madrid had only four wins, with one loss which came against strong and inform Atletico de Madrid. If you focused on the WS, you might want to avoid the game or choose the other team to win option, but if you break down Girona's last five matches, you will see that they were against Por Sevilla and Villarreal, while others were against mid-table teams and they haven't really been tested against a strong team, which means they can't really be trusted to beat a team like Real Madrid. One thing you need to know is that odds don't really matter in football betting, only the team's performances do. And if you are too lazy to do your research, you will lose often, and your money will be used to pay those that do it.